we use the reinforcement learning to learn a single controller that accounts for various changes in body shape of the physically simulated characters. In this example, our character changes the length of its leg and its arm. Not only the eight characters shown in the video, but also the characters made by arbitrary combinations are able to walk forward in a physically plausible manner. Here we can change the length of a single leg up to 10% so that they can differ from one another by 20% in extreme cases. The characters on the left and right sides are limping because their legs are highly asymmetric, whereas the character in the middle can walk normally. In this example, we change the height and body thickness of the character. The smallest character weighs 20 kilograms and is 1.2 meters tall. The biggest character weighs 270 kilograms and is 2.6 meters tall. Even with the substantial variations, we can robustly control the dynamic dance motions of the characters. In the final example, the upper and lower parts of the body can change in their thickness independently. The center of mass position substantially changes as the mass difference between the upper and lower parts of the body varies. The motion shown in video is called cartwheel, which is a highly dynamic gymnastic skill. Our method can also handle such motion for all variations. Because our controller is learned using continuous variations of body shapes, we can change the shapes on the fly during the simulation. This is particularly challenging because the controller should be able to cope with the dynamic system that evolves according with the changes in the body shape. The tall and thick character gets shorter and thinner progressively while dancing repeatedly. Our character is robust enough to moderate external perturbations while changing the body shades. It can also fall down in extreme cases. To evaluate the effectiveness and robustness of our method, we compared it with other methods that do not contain the key components. The controller without shape variation succeeded in controlling the characters that are only marginally different from the base character. The controller without adaptive sampling failed in extreme cases. Our controller, however, was able to control all characters in a stable manner. Although the focus of our study was to learn the variations in the body shape, our method can also be applied to other types of parameterized control variables. Here we use the steering angle and walking speed as variation parameters. In the learning process, we measured how difficult it is for the simulated character to follow a given velocity and spend more time on learning the velocities that were hard to follow. We were able to create a locomotion controller by only using a single walk motion. We also created other characters. The video shows a biped character with only the lower bodies. This has more degrees of freedom in changing body shapes since all the segments of the body can vary independently. In this example, we did not use any real motion capture data as our reference motion and manually created a very simple keyframe animation by using sinusoidal functions. The keyframe animation is just moving the legs back and forth. Even for simple and physically implausible input, our method can control a continuous variation of body shapes. Here, we created a character with four legs, perhaps a dog. After the controller learning, users can interactively control the character in real time. Red objects are obstacles that users should avoid, and the green arrow indicates the target velocity that users can steer. Because our character has the capability to change body shape, users can also adjust the size of body segments on the fly to avoid obstacles. Our method can also be applied to underwater creatures that are simulated with hydrodynamics. Manta rays are large rays that are 5 to 7 meters long on average. We created a family of manta rays that can be controlled with a single controller. 
The yellow creatures shown in the video are fish that are made up of six body segments connected in a row. The school of fish that we created comprised not only small but also gigantic fish. The combination of our parameterized controllers and user interface enables novice users to create and control physics-based characters without the prior knowledge on physically-based control. Users can design a new character on the right side where they can adjust the size of the body segments as they want. If users are satisfied with the new character, they can simulate and control this character on the left side. With the help of our controller, they are able to control the new character immediately without retraining or additional parameter tuning. We also support random character generation, where we sample body shape parameters randomly, and a new character is created accordingly. Users can repeat this process until they find an interesting character.